hi everyone in this video i am going to show you how to install and configure gns3 in windows 7 before installation of gns3 you have to download gns3 software from the website of gns3 so i have already downloaded the version gns3 1.4.4 i am going to install it then welcome to gns3 wizard next agree uh, i can choose where i have to start the gns3 app and uh, it's optional next and uh, these are the components to install including gns3 i uncheck solar winds solar winds is a software where you can uh, monitor or per check the performance of servers and wireshark is a software where you monitor network traffic and analyze network traffic and uh, currently i'm unchecking both it is optional for you to check or uncheck next you can install the gns3 in any windows or any linux platform now solar wind standard tool set now next and finish uh, by default it will try to start i will uncheck start gns3 and finish now we have successfully installed the gns3 software it is time to connect gns3 website Uh, currently i don't have internet connection to connect i simply close this window uh, this is an icon to access gns3 uh, when i click and open then it is trying to connect to the local server uh, you have a, an option to select a local server and uh, you can select a router ios images and you can give finish and you can browse images this is one option to add boot add iso images and i cancel all these options i cancel uh, this is a new project new project is nothing but uh, if you create any topology here that is going to be a new project and uh, this is a path where the projects are save it is an optional uh, to save projects i cancel now here we have options to understand uh, this is a router icon where you can browse routers and choose router currently we don't have any routers to select router because we don't have any ios image image to add to gns3 so we have to go to first edit and preferences before entering into preferences you have to confirm where the ios ios images this is my current desktop folder in that we have all the ios images from the different routers uh, it is iso image for 7200 uh, 736 sorry 3745 now this is an option to select references here is an option to select ios routers we don't have any routers or images to select or to work and select a new image i'm going to choose the path where the ios images are exist and select ios and choose the image which you want to work i will choose to uh, select one of the image and would you like to decompress s yes. i think uh, this image is corrupted i cancel and uh, try to browse another image i'm selecting this image and this this it is successfully added next uh, this is the router name given to router image name next default uh, 128 mb if you increase the ram in router it will take 
a memory from your physical machine from like your laptop or your desktop machine uh, set the ram as default 128 and uh, this is a slot where you can uh, use interfaces for uh, switches switch connections or fast ethernet uh, I used to select one fast ethernet and next this is WAN and IC cards WAN interface and we can choose two WAN interface for one slot another slot so total four WAN interfaces next uh, we can set it later and finish these are the options we configured image and platform and uh, template name RAM NVRAM and finish apply ok now the router is available to place I make maximize I select the router I drag and drop now router is ready if you point at router you will see all the configuration of router uh, what router name it is what status it is and what interfaces are there like fast ethernet now I am going to place another router here it is going to be next router once you placing all the routers you can see server summary the usage of CPU and RAM the percentage of CPU usage percentage of RAM usage is fully of physical memory physical machine then it is your laptop usage now uh, currently router is a switch off state you can see the fast ethernet and serial interfaces and the serial interfaces are empty no connections are connected we have to connect these routers so we take uh, some other devices like uh, switches we have some ethernet hub or ethernet switch I take ethernet switch place it here I may have another ethernet switch place it here I may configure like this so far I want to connect switch to router router to router and router to switch if I if you point at switch 1 you can see all the ports are empty on local node and hardware now these are the cable icon for connecting routers switches when you click here the icon will be like this now, when you point here the 0 <coughs> the 1 is indicating switch port 1 I'm going to connect switch port 1 to fast ethernet the green signal indicates port is on red signal indicates port is off because the router is off state now I'm going to point here from serial to serial it is a WAN interface which indicating WAN and uh, going to connect fast ethernet with the port 0 currently these points are red these points are green you can see in the topology summary switch 1 switch 2 is plug and play switches which automatically play the router will not play automatically we have to play manually play means power on uh, I check back to this to release the icon and we have an option called start or resume all the devices if I play this button this will start all the routers if you use this button to start routers it will take maximum CPU usage and RAM it will reduce your CPU and physical machine performance it is better to start router one by one in this way right click router and start you can observe the CPU usage and RAM usage you can observe here now currently 17 point 25 point now I start another router here you can observe start then it is going to be double if you have many more routers and you are starting one by one it's a best practice if you start all the routers at once it is going to be a very slow performance now 
now you have to configure router we have an option to go console right click console right click console or you can play this uh, uh, button where you can get all the consoles in different windows this is console 1 for router 1 it is a console 2 of router 2 then you can start configuring GNS3 or router configuration if you have any doubts you can comment below we will clarify or we can come with other videos thank you for watching this video